right, here we go with a hunk of hunk of burning love. Uh, this one is a really, it's a play on a famous CrossFit workout, uh, which is known as Chief. Chief is historically three movements, dumbbell power cleans or barbell power cleans, six push-ups, nine air squats, as many rounds as possible for three minutes, rest a minute, five rounds. That's Chief. This is why you sit this at home and this is a hunk of hunk of burden love. We're going to do five working rounds that will be four minutes. So four minutes of work, one minute of rest in between each one of those rounds. So you want to set that up as an AMRAP. We're still going to do three power cleans. We are going to do six push-ups. We are going to do nine air squats and we are going to add 12 sit-ups, okay? Jen, Kevin, who just did Cindy on Wednesday night, you might feel a little repetitive, except we've got power cleans and not pull-ups. So there's going to be some reprieve on those shoulders. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more leggy for the, on this one. So, uh, how we want this one to flow, right? Our, our double power clean, dumbbell power cleans. So, head on the ground, jumping those up, right? We're here, neutral spine, we're jumping those dumbbells for three reps, okay? Neutral spine as possible. Use those legs, save those arms. We don't want to do muscle cleans, right? Where we're here, we're not using those legs, right? We're putting more of that into our back. We don't want to do that. So, those are done. Dumbbells go to the side. We go into six push ups, hands under the shoulders, elbows close to the body, six reps, right? Chest touches the ground every time. Those knees have to touch. Still, six reps. After that, we're gonna stand up. We're gonna go through nine air squats. Our air squats, hips go back, hip creases below those knees, right? Knees are tracking out over the feet, right? And for those of you that find it can cause some discomfort in knees, I want you to focus really on sending those hips back. Maybe slow it down a bit, send those hips, and make a, more of a conscious effort to send those hips back, okay? right? Neutral spine, as opposed to just dropping, right? If we just drop, what's going to happen? You're probably going to feel that in your quads and just above that knee more. I had an athlete uh, complain doing Cindy on Wednesday night. We got her sending her hips back a bit more, disappeared right away, okay? So sometimes it's just that little cue to make sure we're using proper movement patterns. Because once we send those hips back, we're going to stay back on those heels and less up on our toes. Okay, after you're done with the nine uh, air squats, we're down to the ground. We're reaching long behind us, touching your hands touching the ground behind us, and we're here for 12 sit ups. Okay, so nice tall chest, and that shoulder makes a hip crease. If we need to, we can hook our toes under some kids, a couch. Dumbbells, whatever, same thing. We gotta get those shoulders to that hip crease, okay? So, nice and easy, every round where that buzzer goes, right to where you got to, and the next round you will start where you left off. So if you got to seven uh, air squats in the first round, and you come through it three times and you got to seven air squats, you will start by finishing, by doing two more air squats and then into your sit -ups. Okay? So you start where you left off each round. So it's going to be real easy for you to accumulate your score and your reps. Um, the big thing here, this is just, you got to go just careful. Watch how you gauge that first round. Um, you're looking likely at three rounds per, you're looking at likely three rounds per AMRAP minimum. Four would be exceptional, but three is doable. And, uh, so we would like you to really push forward hard for that and see what you can get for reps beyond those three rounds every four minutes. And uh, yeah, we'll see what you got at the end of five rounds. Good luck with a hunk of hunk of burning love.